Hi, my name is Beth and I'm an occupational therapist with Future Insight. A few weeks ago, I gave you some tips on how you could increase and decrease the size of your playing screen on Words with Friends. This involved the use of the Zoom accessibility option, which involves three fingers and tapping the screen twice. Tap, tap, slide the fingers up and it increases, slide the fingers down and it decreases. The only difficulty with using the three finger double tap is, well, you have to use three fingers. So it kind of gets to be known as the dreaded three finger double tap, but I can teach you a way to avoid that. So we want to go to our settings, accessibility, zoom, scroll down to zoom controller and ensure that that's turned on. It'll be green when it's turned on. Now there are ways that you can customize your zoom controller but it may be best to stick with the default options. Now, I've actually had my zoom controller on the whole time, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off so you can see what appears and disappears. It's a little hard to see, but it's the little round circle and arrows that comes on and off the screen, down on the lower right-hand side. There it is. So a couple things with this zoom controller. We do have the option to move it around. It's probably a good idea to keep it someplace where it's not gonna be in the way. But let's see how it works in action. And what better way to check it out than in our game, Words with Friends. So you can see here that I've started a new game and we haven't made any plays yet. But if I wanted to zoom in, I can tap the zoom controller once. I get a menu. I can zoom in and out simply by dragging the bar, and then I can hit zoom out. Now, if I hit it again, I can simply tap zoom in, and it'll go back to my previous level. Now, if you wanna make it a little quicker, instead of hitting that button and hitting zoom in again, we'll zoom out, we can also use a double tap, all right? But this is not a dreaded three finger double tap. All of these taps involve one finger. So again, tap, tap, and release, and it's going to return to that previous level of zoom. Tap, tap, and it zooms out. Let's continue with this double tap. I'm going to now double tap the zoom controller, again, just with one finger, and slide my finger up the screen. Tap, tap, slide up, and you can see that things increase. As I slide down, the screen decreases until I'm zoomed all the way out. I can keep zooming in and out until I eventually lift my finger and then it will stay at that zoom level. So tap, tap, it goes out. Remember, a single tap will bring up the menu and you can do it manually. A double tap allows you to then keep your finger on the screen and make those adjustments. But wait, there's more. So if we're zoomed in, any of the ways that we've zoomed in, we have, of course, our three finger option to maneuver around the screen. And that's dragging three fingers to move around. But again, this is for people who don't wanna use the three fingers. So there's gotta be a better way. Well, when you're zoomed out, press and hold, and now dragging your one finger, you can move anywhere around the screen. Let's get to the center. Perfect. And zoom back in and that's where we left off. So there's still a little bit of learning that needs to happen to be able to use this effectively, but I encourage you to try this option if you like the idea of zoom, but really just struggle with using three fingers at once. So if you'd like more tips about how to use your devices more effectively with low vision, give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for listening. This is Beth Daisy from Future Insight. Have a good day. Thanks for taking time from your game to watch this video. I certainly hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other great videos. And if you or someone you know would like more information about the benefits of low vision services, contact Future Insight at 
4039.